Down the road in the suburb of Hutton, and Sergeant Mick Taylor of the British Transport Police has got word that there's trouble on the 2130 train from Liverpool to Chester. Good night, lads. Where are you off? Hey. Where are you off? Chester. That's all your tickets, yeah? Yeah, uh... Hey? We haven't been obsessing it, but have we made sure? No, you're coming off the train, yeah? These two men and a friend have been drinking and swearing at passengers, but now it looks like their grand day out in Liverpool is ending on a downer. What have you had? Hey, what have you been taking today? Nothing, just beer and that. Just beer and that. What's beer and that? I don't know, just a few bevies and that. Is it, yeah? Bit of a change, cheaper up there, isn't it? Up where? Liverpool and that. Is that where you've been, yeah? Right, what you got to do? Can't go up the station. The no, you can't. You've been refused to travel, fella. Right, go up the right. station and turn right. Just keep going down. There's a bus stop down the bottom. Rail staff are refusing to have them back on the train, yeah. so the three men have to make the 20 mile trip to Chester on foot. Don't come back because we'll be here all night. All right. They have got tickets on them, however, it's been pointed out to them that the tickets are issued subject to the conditions of carriage. At the end of the day, if they're not going to uh, use the service properly, it gets withdrawn from them. They've now got to walk home in the rain, which is back to Chester, which is a considerable distance. Ten minutes later, and the officers spot something on the opposite platform. Ah, oh, look who's back. It's the cheeky trio ready to sneak onto the next train back to Chester. Oh, hey, come here, hey. No, you've been told you're not travelling, yeah? If you can't abide by the rules, you don't travel on the service. All right? Uh, can I ask you a fucking question, a civilised you can, question? You can ask me a question, yeah. What is your problem, mate? So I'm trying to get on to a train. Absolutely not. But are rejected for a second time, but they just won't let it lie and threaten to find alternative transport back to Chester. Go away, go on, right, off you go. Right, listen, good listen, right, 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 listen if you've had your last warning, you've had your last warning, all right. I'm having a car off. Right, you've had your last warning, all right. Warning, right, all right. 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 We'll have a car Any off. more of it, you're coming in. All right, go, go. I'm not getting on the train. Carry on, we're going to make the last warning, mate, go away. So we're going to have to go away now, we'll have a car now, so... Realising that even the threat of nicking a car won't get them back on the platform, the men finally make their way home. But not without having one last word. Fuck him. Fuck him, yeah, he's coming out. Yeah. By swearing at the officers, he's just bought himself a fast ticket to the Nick. I'm sorry, mate, I'm no. going now. Like, You've had far too many chances, all right? There's only... So much that you can pull up with. You should have heeded the countless warnings you've had, all right? You two start walking now, all right? Get in there, sit down. Even with your intoxication, there's only so much you can pull up with. First, the man's foul mouth got him chucked off the train, and now it's got him thrown into the slammer. But he's still got plenty to say. Oh, lovely fucking ginger twat. Ginger? I've got no hair, lad. Yeah, you are fucking lovely twat. Big nose fucking twat. You're ugly, Brad Pitt, mate, are you? What, I'm only a fucking you, you fucking ugly fucking big nose fucking knobhead. Twat. Fucking knobhead. You are a fucking man, can I, now? Turn around, sit down, yeah? You fucking little fucking sit big down. Round. fat swat. Fat fucking swat. Can I Been called worse by the worst than you, yeah, lad. Well, he's one of the three youths that was ejected earlier on. He came back. He's obviously not sobered up. I think he's been in the pub, had a few more to drink. Came back, think he can take on the world. Um, just became very abusive again. Uh, and was subsequently arrested for being drunk and disorderly. Mm -hmm. With the mouthiest of the three men locked up, yeah. the officers could be forgiven for thinking that the Muppet show is over. Oh, it's not our friends, is it? It is, isn't it? Is it? It is, isn't it, mate? Yep. Yeah. Ten minutes later, and the two remaining men come have come back turn, once again. Oh, come over here. What's his name? Richard. Richard, come over here, Richard. I need to get home, mate. I know you Desperately do. Like. I know you do. I'm not, I'm not me brother, am I? Right. Oh, please, I'm begging you now to get on that train. I've got tickets to get back to Chester there. We won't piss about, we'll just get the train I and just we'll want to back. sit down there on that platform. Sergeant Taylor is willing to forgive and forget. Right, I'll tell you and what so I'm with water do. under the railway right, bridge, he comes up with do. a solution. There's one more train to Chester now, yeah? yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let you get on that train. Oh, 
Oh, right. You're a fucking superstar, mate. Just a superstar would have done fine. Yeah. All right, Sorry. yeah. Now listen to me. Listen to me oh, this. Man. Listen to this, yeah. right? You're going to get met at Chester Station. If there's any messing about on the train whatsoever and the guy that's caused to phone up, about, you'll get locked up. Mace, End I the story. Get on that, John Wayne, Mace, you've you've you. wanted to be on that train for a couple of hours now. I don't think they'd have found the bus stop, and, uh, and I think. The most aggressive, obnoxious one out of the group is the one that's been arrested. It is, isn't it? You might dry out. Now remember, behave yourselves, yeah? I know. All right. Cheers, anyway. Thank you, mate. Take Thank care, you, lads, anyway. yeah? Save your life, yeah? I know. Thank you, lad. These two do seem to have a, a small amount of sense, and I do mean small. They're not the sharpest pencils in the box, are they? You know what I mean? Um, Hopefully they'll go home and uh, better halves will uh, give them what for. The man arrested was fined £80 for drunken disorder.